Hello guys and welcome to the next video of linear regression and in this video I will tell you about how the univariate linear regression works. Okay, so as you just see this graph, it has the x and y. The x is the independent variable, y is the dependent variable. So x is only one. We don't have like multiple x1, x2, x3 or multiple independent variables. So there is only one independent variable, that's why it is called univariate linear regression. So okay, as you see, this is the black line. Black line is the regression fit line. Okay, and these green dots are the actual data points we have and this red dots are the printed responses on the line. Okay, and this dashed line, it shows that the residuals bet between the printed minus actual records. So that shows that how much uh, error is there in the actual and the printed responses. Okay, and uh, that I already explained in the last video with the help of ordinary least square method and the gradient descent, you can easily build this best fit line. Okay, so let's see how this univariate will work. Okay, I told you in the last video that we have an equation we have that is B0 plus B1x. Okay, so B0 is the intercept, B1 is the slope and x is our independent variable we have. Okay, intercept that is passed through the y-axis and uh, x is the slope of the line. Okay, and we have residuals that is get at by the uh, actual minus the repeated responses. Okay, and our main goal is to minimize those errors as much as possible so we can make this line. Okay, so I okay, let me just give you an example. Suppose you have this line in this direction, the downward, like B1 is the horizontal direction. In the horizontal direction, the residuals are in increased, right? Because you have to calculate this from this point, like from this point to this point. It is increased residual, increased residual, increased residual, okay? So, with the help of ordinary least square method, then when you are like changing the direction of this best fit line to above, to above, to above, to above, and get a value of the least ordinary least square errors, then you can say it is your best fit line, okay? And uh, we can also see here, that uh, I build this uh, uh, linear regression program from the scratch that uh, how you can estimate the coefficients here okay what is the x and y vector here Ca calculating the cross deviation and division about x and the regression coefficients here okay this, this is all about only mathematics you don't need to like indulge too much into it so this is here just to give you a look okay so when I just use this uh, program and there is plot program and this main program we have x and y here and try to get it and then we have this kind of line the green line is our regression line the purple points are our data points and the red head points are our printed data points okay so in that way it will work so as you just see that b0 is 103 that means our this line should pass from the 103 here that point it is 103 so that is told by the intercept and our B1 is minus 1. So our slope is in the negative direction. So that's why that line is not in this direction, but in this direction, because it is in the negative direction. Okay, so if, if I just uh, talk to you about this uh, linear regression implementation by using the SciPy library. So in the SciPy library, if you have the values of X and Y, you can use these kind of uh, uh, function, that is linear regress, and pass your X and Y and it will give, give you slope, intercept, r, p, and standard error. All these values are given by this single function. And by using this, you can calculate the other coefficients you have. Okay, so let's say you have predicted values. My model predicted values are here. And coefficient of determination is given by this function. p value is given by this function. Standard error is given by this function. And slope you can easily calculate as well. Intercept is there. We ha all, all values are here, okay? And when we build a slope, we always have slope is in the negative direction, intercept is in the positive direction, and it is the same slope as the above, but we use a different approach to calculate the linear regression here, okay? And in our next uh, program we have, we just use the stats model library as well, okay? So in the stats model library, you have function called OLS, 
So OLS is the ordinary least square function. Okay, and this is also a regression function. And when you put your x and y into this and fit the model, it will give you a summary like this. In that summary, you have everything like just R square, yesterday R square, F statistics, everything is here with you. You have constant, that is your intercept is here. And you have standard errors, you have p-values, everything is there that, that will help you to interpret your models more accurately. As, as you can see about the interpretation or explainable AI, you can just watch my explainable AI machine learning playlist as well, that I put the link in the description. Okay. And uh, we have this graph, it shows this in the positive direction. Okay, this is the positive direction. The slope is in the positive direction, it is passes through the ordinary region, so the intercept will be zero. These are the all, the all the data points we have. Okay, so I hope you guys completely understand about the uh, univariate linear regression with multiple uh, ways you can implement that and interpret that and use that in your personal projects as well. So in our next video, I will talk about the multilinear regression. Okay, so in this we have multiple independent variables and how to deal with it and how to build a linear regression model out of it. So then guys and don't forget to like, subscribe and share our YouTube channel. I hope we can get the 4000 watch hours by this year end. Thank guys. Thank you so much.